Kelly. Jillian Anderson, good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Why a movie? Why'd they need to do a movie? Because um, it was time, I think. <laughs> because, you know, the show, um, the show looks like a movie on the TV screen every week, and the amount of energy that we put into it and the amount of money that goes into it and the special effects, it really has a, a, a movie quality to it. Did you have fun moving from television to doing it on the big screen? Um, I did. I, I did have fun with it. It was very it, it was very different, but at the same time, it needed to be exactly the same. I think there was a lot of um, pressure that at least I put on myself to um, just you know make it better, make it all better and bigger, and you know. But you actually have to do less in the end when you're you know because it's projected on such a huge screen that you know you do anything and. It just comes, it just comes jumping out. out. Because yeah. you have been praised, I know, a lot for your subtlety in terms of your acting. Did you find you had to be <laughs> so, so, more some subtle? Some people call it, yeah, some of it's praise and some of it's... Um, Saying, does she have a pulse? Does she, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I just basically had to allow myself to do what I was used to doing and not, and not you know, put pressure on myself to do anything different and, now, and hope that it works. I know you're bored. Is it true the script was written on paper that cannot be photocopied? Well, I actually tried to photocopy, and, and, and you can photocopy. Oh, you can? Right, you, you can. It, it does work off of some machines. But I think the, um, see, even with those rules and regulations, um, the script got out to people. And, and they had our names and numbers assigned to us stamped across every single page of the script. Why such incredible secrecy? I don't secrecy? know. I mean, it's kind of cool at the same time. Because Chris would not let anybody see the script. Chris Carter, the creator of the show, um, wouldn't let anybody read the script. And so I heard one day that he was in Vancouver and I was going to get to read the script. And um, so um, his assistant brought his computer into my trailer <laughs> and plugged it in. And I had two hours in between setups to sit in my trailer and try and read the script and as it's going up and down on the monitor. I didn't understand a thing. Why is this show, you think, Jillian, um, Jillian and I were actually revealing to each other that uh, <laughs> she doesn't watch the Today Show and I've never seen the x either. <laughs> But having said that, both that. shows are fabulous. enormously popular. Here we go. So what, what is it about the X-Files? Do you think that's made it such an, an incredible cult hit? Um, I think that it's a mixture of everything that goes into it. I think that without one of the elements, it it wouldn't be as as successful as it is. Um, first of all, the the scripts are amazing. They're very intriguing, very interesting, um, very complex, very aren't complex, they? Very complex, very complex. And also, it's timely. I mean, I I don't think that that if this show were to air, um, you know, we started five years ago, but if it had started five years before that, I don't think that it would have caught on in the same way that it did. Why? How is it so timely? Well, I think that something, something happened around the same time that, that um, the show started to air. Um, and it, it suddenly became okay for people to talk about their beliefs about spiritual things and about extraterrestrial things and paranormal things. And it almost became a trend. I know you've been asked about this, I'm sure, a million times, but you were not the, the character of choice. You were not the actress of choice mm -mm. when it came time to cast this uh, series. Mm -mm. Why not? They didn't think you were enough of a babe? Well, I can't believe that. Well, no, Ed, Ed Fox, you know, that they have, they have Melrose Place and they have, um, th they have a formula that they had worked with for a while that they know worked that brought in audiences. The women were cast, very, very beautiful, very voluptuous. Very, very skimpily clad. Very skimpily clad, which was not who this character was. I mean, she's, <clears throat> from the beginning, she was in suits and she had a certain look and there was a strictness and a tightness and a, and a, um, an intelligence. Kind of solemnness and an intelligence to her that you just don't see on television. On the X-Files? Um, I am signed on for uh, three more years. Three more years. Actually. I, Are I'm you? not sure how long the show itself is going to last. but You're still loving it? You're not itching my, uh, to, to get out of there? I'm, I'm itching, but, um, but I'm on contract and I'm, you know, I'm as loyal as I can be. This is the period that... Um, 
that I'm doing this, and there'll be a, a later period of my life where I'm doing something else. So I just have to look at it as a small, albeit large, <laughs> length of time. Obviously, things are going great for you. Is David Duchovny nice and smart, as, as nice and smart as he seems? Yes. Yeah. He's very smart. Yeah. He's very smart. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks, Julian. <laughs> nice to meet you. Best of luck. Thank and you. And the movie is The X Files. Is it just called The X Files? Uh, it's called The X Files. I think it's called The X Files Fight the Future. Okay. I think. But it changes. And luckily, and it comes out you don't on have June to know 19th. anything about it. And I it don't have to know anything secret. about it. It's a state secret. If you told me, you'd have to kill me, right? Exactly. Oh, and gosh. we wouldn't want that because so many people love you. Thank you. I wouldn't <laughs> want to be killed either. Thanks, Julian. All right. This was fun. We'll be back in a moment. This is